Remember this year on the offensive rebound, shot clock resets to 20. Wesson underneath throws it down. <laughs> Slam by Liddell. Some wide open looks, some good looks. You just not tonight, those jump shots are just not going in. 25% on the night from the floor, 25% from downtown, and Wesson gets another one inside. I'll forever be Villanova, but also Bill Finner, right. head coach. Liddell up against the clock over Sadiq Bay. To the first half and the Buckeyes with only 16, it's a little bit uncharacteristic for them. They've been very high scoring so far this season. How about making something out of nothing that time? Sharp shooter for this Purdue-Fort Wayne squad. Muhammad over to Liddell. Liddell slams it home. Oh, my goodness. If at your job they gave you 10 to 15 new rules a year that you had to, that you had to do in split-second time, nobody would get a run. E.J. Liddell with the two-hand. Up top, Caleb Wesson. That was Andre Wesson going to E.J. Liddell. Walker, the bounce feed to Liddell. Liddell, the drive inside and off the window. Wesson with the shot clock at seven. Working on Jarvis O'Mersa. Shot clock at three. E.J. Liddell, another freshman, able to drop in two. Jarvis O'Mersa bonding up Caleb Wesson. He's going to stay down on this head fake. Really good flash there. Now Carton. Carton hanging in the air. Tough shot. Rebound Liddell, and he gets it to go, and a foul. Just too much to handle. You see he's got Marcus Carr switched off on him, and as all bigs do... Driving inside, ball almost taken away. Somehow gets to Liddell. Three people in there, but he forces it up and in and got fouled. That's the kind of pop you need off the bench. Liddell just scooping it off the floor, absorbing the contact. Or to some extent, DQ Nicholas. He said it's shoot around. We can't settle for outside shots. There's an easy one at the bucket for EJ Liddell. Easy flush on the other end, though. Liddell just wide open. Buckeye football fans this past week, but frankly, they're going to be around and great for a long time to come. As is Wesson inside in this game as he gets another one. Hard drive is quick. He gets rocked. Here come the Hoosiers on the break to the hole. Out of bounds by E.J. Liddell. Inside, great delivery by his brother. And then a bad delivery by Cam Mack, turnover. On the other end, Carson drops it for a two-handed slam by Liddell. Timeout, Nebraska. The defense able to turn it over. It's all about decision-making. D.J. Carden. I'll tell you what, Miles Dredd was working down low to try to maintain position, but he just lost it. And for the freshman, Liddell, who hangs and scores. I know other options. I can only imagine your eyes. You're like, I got shit. That was terrible. I can't lie. Liddell, kick out. Walker for three. And moving the basketball. You see that hard hedge again. Hey, it has been a clinic. You roll out of the pick and roll. E.J. Liddell, extra pass. Ohio State's offense is rolling. Like Castleton set a really good screen there. He's wide open on the roll. There he is. Gets it from Simpson. Has it rejected. Liddell. Chris Holtman telling us before the game for Ohio State to be what they want to be. They need Liddell to be really good down the stretch. Strong drive and finish for the freshman. I'm Illinois, Mr. Basketball. Just got really good position. Holds off Castleton, faces him up, and goes right into his body. Yeah, clearly they're on a, an uplift on their home floor. Oh, boy. Liddell, big Walker declined on the three. Caleb Wesson did not. And the rebound for E.J. Liddell, who gets swatted at, and they'll count the bucket. Some NBA continuation, perhaps. And you see Joe Toussaint from three. He'd been on fire. He's leading the Big Ten in three-point percentage. Bakari Evelyn, that one sent somewhere else. Read the passer's eyes and jumped the passing lane like a DB. 
E.J. Liddell, who's been good in a couple of recent games for the Buckeyes. Be a guy that, that fills it from a skill perspective. And he pins that ball. Another one against Perk. Two on Deshaunis Gilly. Two on Caleb Wesson as Liddell got the foul and got the bucket. And Liddell, watch, he takes his time. He just takes his time right there. And... Frazier. Rebound to Liddell to Walker. Yeah, Bishanis really. And there's a stuff by Liddell. Ohio State on the comeback. In State, they get on these little surges to get comfortable. 8, 10, 12 point leads. And you know the defense is solid too. Good work that time by EJ Liddell. It's the opening day of the 2020-2021 season. The Buckeyes in the home whites and a good sign early. Chris Holtman telling us this team will go as far as its backcourt takes them. That's C.J. Walker and the aforementioned to Dwayne Washington. And E.J. Liddell counted plus one. Chris Holtman was very adamant in saying, hey, we need to play to our identity. Seems like Ohio State's starting to find some of that identity this afternoon with what is going to be a big win and a great block to end it by E.J. Liddell. Uh, their eight points, I should say, in their defense. Able to get them out in front. There is E.J. Liddell high off the glass. As he goes coast to coast and now off the window. Here's Liddell. Nice touch from the sophomore. Bruising battle with Purdue. Purdue. Dante Williams during that triple double. Zed Key backs in. Good by Liddell. Big to big. E.J. spins it in. You put a perimeter player on him. He's going to do what he can in terms of imposing his will. Now Walker to Liddell. And then a beautiful wraparound pass by C.J. Walker and Liddell with the finish. It's a 13-point lead for Rutgers. Liddell just putting his head down into Johnson, and that is three on Miles Johnson. Cleared the side out. Liddell goes strong, elbow, clears out, and I... Robbie Barron on the floor for Northwestern. Adige. Once again, he tried to wind up for a jump. This is big boy basketball. If you're going to drive the basket and drive the lane, you know there's going to be a shot blocker coming. That's great defense by EJ Liddell. I mean, great defense. Oh, of course. You got to try. <laughs> you might be that one guy that gets the call reversed. Yeah! EJ nothing to reverse there. He thunders one through the cylinder. And here is our Big Ten standout brought to you by Auto Owners Insurance. A little bit of a, of a double clutch there on the dunk. Yeah, and showing you he's got some hops in. One for six from three, one for nine in field goal territory in that game. Nashbourne hey! getting challenged. What a block from Liddell. So my thought bubble was answered. It's, it's concrete now. It's a locker bubble. And the flush. E.J. Liddell, little curl, a dunk. Granted, I tell you what, sometimes they look like a totally different team away from the rack than they do here. And the answer on the other end. It will be near as, as tall as Miles Johnson. <laughs> no, he sticks out in the engineering department. A steal and a pass up ahead of the easy dunk for E.J. Liddell. He's got a dozen to lead the Buckeyes. Academically get him into the institution because he's supposed to be a senior in high school. And again, Liddell keeps just scorching the nylon. And that's just too much room for him to have to try to, you know, to, to try to cover ground. And then he backs up. He just not. <laughs> Liddell a step back Trey. Wow. Picking up right where he left off, E.J. You know about C.J. Walker. Jimmy Soto's out again today with a shoulder injury, and Abel Porter will not play because of a heart condition. Counted and one down low for Liddell. Shots earlier in this game, but watch how they go through the middle of the floor. Washington brings Potter right chest to chest, and by that time, it's way too late. Inside, Liddell. 
getting away from Dredd, kicking it out to Arns, but he can't get the shot off. Great pass, Walker to Liddell. By Auto Owners Insurance. Look at the way he jumps out of the way from John Hara and just sets up. You know, you've talked consistently about how hard they play. That was a trait of them under Pat Chambers, and it has just continued to be the same thing under Jim Ferry. Great field, can run the point if they need it. He's suing the Cal transfer first couple of years out in the Pac-12. Look at Liddell, puts it on the deck, and he's headed to the free throw line. Off a pretty good performance at Rutgers. You couldn't say that about a whole lot of guys, but a little pump, the move forward. This kid can really, look at the power in those legs. Goodness. Feel the team, are the reps okay? <laughs> well, then you go to your gym and you hope your guys are positive, too. <laughs> in terms of the mentality, nice play mm. again. Look out twice. Negating opportunities. My nephew he could be president of the United Queen. States. Yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah, my nephew used to work at Dairy Queen. He was the most popular guy in town for about a year. What a block by Liddell. A team over the last five minutes or so. They've been more difficult to score upon. That is a big-time block on the drive by Nunji. They're so good. That's one of the things that I've found Chris Holtman's great at over the years. Live into the shot clock slam. There's your exclamation mark. Bring the house down a little bit, Brandon. In your heyday, right? Maybe the dribble drive, but... Possession that Ohio State has had where they've gotten Indiana down to the clock and a really bad shot at the end of the clock. Everybody gets a touch for Ohio State, and Liddell gets the buckets. D.J. Liddell with a couple of buckets. One outside, one inside. Buckeyes with the early lead. All together. And Chris Holtman is telling us today that one of the twos he attempted is... Hera has it blocked. One of the twos he attempted he thought was a three. Great pass by Liddell, and Chalo throws down the jam. Training, directing traffic, gets the signals from the bench, and very active on the glass. Outside. This beautiful shot. Tough that match. was over Dickinson, huh? Tough match. Very tough match. Everybody's staying at home because of the outside shooting. This right inside there, ball turned over, picked up by Liddell, and they go inside. Young with a fake, and he gets the two. Liddell searching for position, got in there, nice thread through. Liddell scores! Oh, man! McCaffrey on Liddell. They've got to get some help here. I think this is elevation and strength. McCaffrey, versatile piece, and a fadeaway by E.J. Liddell. What a big jump he's made in his sophomore season. Walker on the on floor, Chris Fielding was getting away from him a little bit. He does a great job getting in the lane. Nice entry pass here. Maybe a little off from the proper side, but why not the drop step and power? This would be a major win for the Buckeyes if they can hang on and win it. Washington oh, wraps nice the pass, pass around. Liddell. Score the basket plus the foul on Gilbert. Johnson had double figure rebounds, 10 of them in the Northwestern ballgame. Liddell with patience and the fadeaway gets his first two. 92 87, I believe, was the final score. I mean, it was everything you could ask for. And Young with the hammer and one. He wasn't able to use the window. That's a play that Williams likes to make by using the backboard. Liddell, great bounce pass. And Young has 13. And a timeout is taken by Matt Painter. He just does everything, all the little things right. Fading away. Liddell counted in the foul. To mind to keep it alive with a little bit of tip. There's no way that this opportunity presents itself. Watch Liddell. Got just enough on the elbow. 14, 18,000. By the way, the venue's in the Big Ten are a nice little pocket pass. Oh, 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 power at the rim, Liddell. Oh. With seven seconds to go. He's going to take it from the outside. Hubbard's blocked on the chance to win it. He at the end, and we're going to overtime. And did you see that block by Liddell? It's a settle, too. Yeah, I think you should attack in that uh, situation. That's right. Put it on the deck. And look at this right over Liddell, but the response, incredible. And I'm sure Washington thought he could make that shot, too. From top of the key. <laughs> <laughs> the other end. Three quarters. Yeah, you know how that sounds. It sounds like when you call somebody a good guy and you, that means you don't have anything nicer to say. As Key finishes, we're tied at four. I was 
nearly never allowed in the stadium again. Down low, Bandego has it blocked. Second chance for K.J. Walton, and this is going to stay. All around, really physical, really gritty, and he's able to shoot well as well. Thomason got tied up. Ball fake up top. Iorio needed some help. Hammond had it blocked. For Niagara, Marcus Hammond. You get a chance to see the big man, Tuba Traore, come in as Arns and Liddell go to work. E.J. Liddell with two. They get up there. You saw them looking at each other. Arns throws it up, Liddell finishes. Including Plowden, again, their, their leading scorer, a guy who averages about 16, still scoreless here in this first half. And look out, Liddell's starting to get comfy cozy. Arns for Ohio State, really, in the first half, have done a pretty good job rebounding the basketball. Justin Arns with the five rebounds in the first half, you know? Was that what he's doing? I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> They're the man. That one blocked. They wanted goaltending, but they say the block is clean. Uh, they miss Walker, no question about it. Either Chris Washington as well. That one good job by Arns. Hands it off. Here's Kadari Richmond, the Syracuse transfer. Tried to give it back to Obiagu. Rejected by Liddell. Don't put it on the ground. L Liddell got him twice. Beautiful. How about that? E.J. Liddell, who had eight blocks against Xavier. And then on the other end. Wheeler tapped that out, the little guy. And here he is in transition. Nice cut. Wow. What a fine. Liddell knows what to do with it. Secondary break. Average 20 points a game. Of course, that's a different level, but it just shows you he can fill it up. Oh, here's a lob. Attacking and making the press pay. Uh, Wheeler wanted to get it to Liddell. He does up top. Five to shoot. Liddell lets it go. Both ends of the floor here. Eyes him up. A little nylon from deep, but a big fella. What a play by E.J. Liddell. Isoed in the post against Theo John. And one! I did. I, I missed the I did miss the Elvis. I wish we could bring that back. But we will. Liddell three. Good. That was a deep ball. Watch when this. Oh, this is E.J. Liddell, the deep three. He's got Theo John on him. John had to give him a little bit of space. Good recognition by E.J. Liddell. Get the ball away from the double team. Get it inside Branham. Great vision from E.J. Liddell. Strong move by Branham to the basket. Velveeta, last possession from Ohio State. Len, look at this thing whipping around. Absolutely. Textbook team unselfishness. Does a round trip twice. Yeah, and you look at the productivity of those guys all across the board and down at the bottom, Cam Holden, who's not only can score, but can board it and assist it as well. Chris Holman's given him guarding one of the elite offensive players in this league. So far through one possession, so good contesting that jumper. Here's Liddell's first try, and it goes down a deep three for E.J. Liddell. Here's the ball screen, and Justin Arns wisely throwing it back. That's going to be a tough guard for Steven Kraut. Something that you have to get through, and so far, this Ohio State team, a little bit cold. They've been very good shooting the ball all year, but there's been some ugly shots. Nothing, nothing ugly about that. He's got a matchup right here, and he's going right in. That was the one thing that he wasn't worried about going into the season. Great. Russell fires away from three. The transfer from Louisiana gets into the action. You know, at that six foot five frame, he can rise up. Liddell, not tonight, McGowan's. Another block for EJ Liddell. He's averaging three a game. That's a galley with some wrap on that left wrist. It was his non shooting wrist. Those knows how to play. Bring some energy. Oh, nice. Pinned off the glass by Liddell. More physical, can rebound, and Nance can play that natural four position. Liddell again. Oh, oh. Man, folks. I think you better get ready for a show. E.J. Liddell came to play tonight. Don't forget about me stepping out. There's number. He wants it up top. They didn't give it to him. Here we go. He's going to shoot it. And why would you do that? Why would you not? An interesting spacing here, Ohio State on the rim run. Key did get two and a foul. Is the easiest offensive rebound. You know, didn't really have it going, a bit too much of a hard hit. It's a 16 point game. We're right out of halftime. You got the full <laughs> list in your mind now. 
Liddell will fake on the help, and he spun by. He is so agile in the post, John. His improved shooting from beyond the arc just makes that high-low even that much more dangerous. This time, though, a blow-by, but Liddell again with another block. On target pass. And again, it's just, it's amazing. Again, he's only six foot seven, but he is a really, really talented rim protector. Long arms, good timing. They're really good offensively, but they're allowing IUPUIs just kind of strange defenses to slow them down a bit. But hey, we mentioned the cross court passes from EJ Liddell. Another great find, Eugene Brown sticking it. Liddell's passing ability, here it is. Well, the ability to see the weak side, I mean, that's. Uh, that's not easy. He's under pressure. Pulls up. That one rolls off. Ogilvy rejected by Liddell. <laughs> Guy inside the Liddell. Ball fake. Counted and one. Arms coming off the bench for the first time this season. Trying to get through his shoes. Nice Trunk beautifully set up by Liddell. Wins year in and year out. He's led Purdue to the tournament 12 times in his 16 years. What a run it's been here. Off the steal, Branham. What a pass by Liddell and the freshman. Ohio State trying to push in transition. And Liddell just took over. Discard and a dunk. E.J. Liddell. Now they'll get into a set with a screen from Johnson. Oh, yes. It around Liddell sets up inside and puts it down. Serena Wheeler's pass once again finds Liddell, shoots over Mulcahy, it'll count and one. On to EJ Liddell, takes his time, reposts, and as he goes up, takes the contact. Mulcahy challenged by Liddell and a block. How about that? Screen for Young. Into the post, E.J. Liddell with his full toolbox for two and a foul. Musa Diabate, and this is going to be one to watch all night. The footwork there is what really frees him. You shoot the rock. The guy that you just want on your team. Dickinson crowded out Liddell, and he still found key. Well, good patience by E.J. Liddell, but really good position by Zed. Two to shoot. One to shoot for Liddell. Can he be as he launches and hits again? Out on the floor. We're starting to feel a little bit confident right here. Look at this little jab, create some space, knocking down his second three. Chris Murray. McCaffrey to the hole, trying to jam it, reject it again. Woo! Liddell getting up inside and a foul. Hey, listen, in, in the Michigan game, Patty Matt tried this down the lane with his left hand. Okay, and got it negated. And this one, too, he didn't get it blocked in Michigan. He just missed it off the rim. Gives it up to Liddell. Liddell so far hasn't scored. 0 of 2. Try to change that, and he does. Go back to Liddell's first bucket of the night. Well, Ohio State is all about trying to figure out ways to create enough space for EJ Liddell to operate. And right here in the middle of the lane, that despite being a great shooter, you just can't find his rhythm right now. And inside. Himself wide open. Unfortunately, had to play some defense one on one, able to get over the top, but then off the pick. Second foul on Payne. Kofi Coburn back on the floor. Buckeyes just trying to get this guy going. Liddell 0 for 3 to start tonight. Tough shot, and he makes it look easy. As Liddell spent to the baseline, that got Coburn down just a little deeper in the paint. Got a body off of Young who was able to tip it in. Colbert inside and Liddell there to clean it up again. Leading the defensive Brown. Russell. Inside. Oh, look at him scoring. Look at him trying, but he can't complete. Offensively, when the ball moves, we are much better. When it gets stagnant, we don't share the basketball. It makes it really difficult. So the first two shots for the All-American E.J. Liddell, and he knocks down the second one. Liddell. Here's Eugene Brown. Turns, knocks it down. You made the industry I get to be a part of. <laughs> Hogarth, his shot blocked. 
Here's EJ, open. To beat you. Liddell driving this time. Off the window. Down it at the five. They're able to use his arms and length and athleticism and that time not use his body to pick up a foul on Devontae Jones. Adele off balance and takes it down. Things have changed since when you played in the no, 70s. Okay. 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 I mean, technology has we gone get, the other way get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Liddell getting to the bottom of the net. He's got 10. Jalen Pickett gets caught watching. There's no block out here. The pass to Cedric Russell and Ohio State off to quite the start. Thought he had opportunities to go do so. Just wait now. But Miles Dredd rips it, takes it right down the middle, and is rejected by E.J. Liddell. The leading shot blocker in the Big Ten strikes again. He was right behind him. I mean, he was almost zigging and zagging, trying to throw Liddell off the scent, but...